Good morning, my fluffy minced pie. Uh, I'm, I woke up about 6.30 today, an hour and a half later than normal. And let me get some light on the subject. Good morning, my fluffy minced pie. What is up with that? Oh, I can do it. There's no one on the road. Wrong one. There we go. <laughs> Uh, so I woke up about 6.30 this morning, an hour and a half later than usual. Oh, got to slide that one in there. And thankfully, I didn't wake up earlier because I just realized the gym is closed until 7. So I'm diverting right now to go and get some juice and then head to the gym. But in the pod vlog the day before last, I mentioned <laughs> that like, it's a respectful thing. So Dustin and I have been making some videos and he sent me something over, but I was super tired and obviously with things that are going on at uh, the hospital, um, I didn't, I wanted to look at it, but I didn't feel like I, I had the energy to look at it and whatnot. Well, anyway, I looked at it and I told him that I just couldn't collect my thoughts on it. I didn't know what to think on it. And then last night, uh, I just realized that I didn't have, like I don't have the capacity, the mental capacity to take on doing these extra videos and so I told him but of course I feel really bad because number one I gave that spiel <laughs> and number two I told him that I was ready to get working on this again anyway he was gracious about it uh, I the orangey juice I tried the other day that I bought for the wife I bought her that one because it has banana and non berries in it i like berries i don't like banana but i tried it last night actually pretty good so shouldn't judge a book by its cover also something i tried last night this is going to be an eye, eye opener for you uh chocolate milk and then you put chips ahoy in it and just let them soak until they're borderline not quite you know a little bit further from falling apart i'd say halfway between just straight in dry and falling apart <sighs> very good uh, how am I feeling by the way the I'm feeling honestly like just tired and run down so I thought I'd share kind of what's happening with I guess in my life right now in terms of time <laughs> so my wife and I are switching on and off so like let's say let's say how today is gonna go uh, I'll have Ruger until about midday or so, then I'll go up and meet Shay, because Shay's been looking after Covey, or she's been staying with Covey. We'll switch over. So from Shay's side, she'll come home, uh, maybe, well, if I haven't fed Ruger, she'll feed Ruger, put him to bed, which gives her about an hour, an hour and a half to relax. And then she's got him for the rest of the day until she goes to bed and then we'll switch over again the next day at midday. And me at the hospital, I'll be sitting in with Kobe pretty much the whole time unless I have something small to do. Like I filmed a bit the other day of setting out all of the breast milk bottles and then cleaning up the room yesterday. But it just feels really strange. I, don't, I, I can't bring myself to record in the room with Covey, like when he's lying there asleep. That just, that feels super weird. It's like I should just be there with him. And so in terms of time to actually film anything, on different days, I'll have like the, let's say three hours in the morning before Ruger wakes up and I'll have to work out, clean the house and do a couple of other things. And then I might have the time during his nap, but also during that time I'm like cleaning up from lunch or uh, cleaning up the house. And then the only time that is actually mine or in Shay's case, Shay's, is after Ruger's gone to bed or after I've left Kofi for the night and gone back to my room to sleep. So it's really not that much time, which is why these have kind of been lacking. So I'm fitting in the small bits of editing where I can but I quite like the idea of finishing up the pod vlog the night before so that I'm not waking up in the morning and 
having to think about, oh, I gotta go to the gym, but I'm gonna have to edit this before I get started on anything else. All right, so another, I, what do I think? There's just, there's so much going on at the moment, but I think we're in a good place at the moment with how Kobe is doing. And I'll have to get some estimates, but we're thinking maybe a week or so, another week, we'll see. But I did see this interesting um, piece, interesting video about the Ma Michelangelo effect. What's that? It's essentially that uh, two people, I think uh, this is my general idea of it, can like mold and sculpt each other into who they want that other person to be. So they see, like let's say the block of stone, and they, they see what's inside the block of stone. So they like the block of stone, and they see what could be inside. And it's like both parties agree that they're okay to be sculpted in this way that, that their partner sees will make them into a better person, right? Does that make sense at all? And I do have more of a thought on it. I'm gonna go and grab this juice quickly. All right, BRB. All right, so the point in that was, you have people, there's like this common misconception that if you're gonna start dating someone, you date them for exactly who you are and you don't change them. Which, you know, on one part I understand, but if the change is to, uh, is to, what was the right word? Improve on their best attributes and help them let go of their bad attributes. So truly from a constructive place, not a change perspective as in, uh, I like sleeping in until 11 every day. You should do that too, instead of doing like enjoying your life, going out and enjoying your life. Where, where was I going with it after that? <laughs> what a donut. Um, I guess like there are lots of things that Shay and I do. Well, you know, one thing that was very, when Shay, growing up, my parents often had family friends over for dinner. Family friends, often had friends over for dinner. And she would, they would force me to come out and say hi, and sometimes I would sit and have dinner with them, like my sister and I would, not very often. And then there are lots of other things through life, like especially going to boarding school. We had lots of events where like all the parents, so we lived in boarding houses. So like, I don't know, 50 kids in a boarding house. And all their parents would come in and we'd have like a big banquet or a big dinner. It wasn't a banquet, it was a dinner. We have this dinner and you'd sit on a table with just other people's parents and you'd have to make conversation. So I had lots of experience making conversation. I think I've done a lot in my life in many different areas that have helped me. But Shay, for example, hasn't been exposed to those things. And so her ability to hold conversation uh, with people that aren't in her world, she always found that quite difficult and she always felt shy and she always felt like she was saying something stupid. So what, uh, while she was shy, she was also shy that she was being judged for saying something stupid and she felt like she was saying something stupid. And so part of my job, I feel like as a husband, as a partner, is to help her get out of that, help her learn, help her get better at communicating. Because she wants to do it and you know that it's a good thing for a person to be better at communicating. So she was willing to open up to it. I was willing to help guide her. And then she was willing to accept that information too. And since she's gotten so much better at it, 
and she actively goes out and does things that forces her to communicate better with people that she wouldn't normally communicate with. And so I, do, I disagree for the most part on the idea that you shouldn't try to change the person that you're in a relationship with. I think you should both try to improve each other because you've both had different experiences. I think that is the most wild part of any relationship, which I don't see. I don't, I rarely hear, I never seen anyone talk about it. You are two, to be in a relationship, you are two people from completely different walks of life unless you just like went to school together in your high school sweethearts. But you've lived different lives and you now, you like parts of each other and you now somehow have to figure out how to live together, how to do all of this stuff together. Even though you've grown up doing it one way, the other person's grown up doing it another way. Of course you're gonna have arguments about things. Of course you're gonna like the way other, other like someone else does things. You're gonna hate the way other, someone else does things. Like clearing up the house. Like, so Shay looks after Ruga, so she's a stay-at-home mum. She'll look after Ruga from, I don't know, eight till four. And the house might actually be a mess from eight till four. But she knows, like, her style of cleaning up is wait until she needs to clean it up, rather than cleaning up as you go. I'm the opposite, I'm clean up as you go. And so I would prefer the house be clean. Like if I, if I had her job, I would clean up as I go. But the compromise there is, I'm pretty much in my office from eight till four, so there's no need for me. Uh, my uh, desire to have the house clean between eight till four, like in that part of the day, let's just say, doesn't matter, it's irrelevant because she's the one that's living and dealing with that. And she has the respect to clean up the house around, f she respects me enough to clean up the house around 4 p.m. That sounds like a crazy way to say that. So that it's clean for when I come upstairs. Like, and I have the respect then that she uh, is considerate enough to clean it up before I come upstairs. <laughs> Now that's not like a, Shay, you haven't cleaned the house. Get in the cage. <laughs> but it's just a nice respect thing that I think you build up as you, as you live together and I'd say, you know, work together. All right, pretty much at the gym now. So I don't know next when I'll record, it probably won't be until late. Oh no, I'll try and record some, I might do a nice like glow-in-the-dark Play-Doh set with Rugi. That might be kind of fun. All right, that'll be next, I think. Bro, I am bushed. Uh, Shay and I, or Shay came up with Rugi here earlier to have dinner together since we switched over at noon. And we were both like, just couldn't believe how emotionally, <clears throat> physically, mentally drained we both are. Pod vlog quickie. I um, I made a note of three things. So I wanted to do, I wanted to do a fun video with Ruger today, but. But what? Well, number one, he woke up crazy early, so I didn't really have time to plan anything. And then I wanted to take the dogs to the dog park, and I guess I kind of chose to take the dogs to the dog park over like filming something with him because like, he enjoys going to the dog park too. Um, that was a that was a pain in the ass because the dogs got all muddy. I had to bring them home, shower them, and I have to carry them upstairs. <laughs> Ruga just being as nuts as he is. Pod vlog note. But depending on how I feel tomorrow. Oh, what the hell? Pod vlog quickie. Um, so.
serious still flicking popping off. Pod vlog quickie. There we go. And then I planned to edit the, I wanted to edit the soda video tonight, like the drinking soda for 24 hours. But um, I didn't bring it, it's not on my hard drive, I transfer everything off, so I'm not going to get to that. But that's probably a good thing because it is, it's about 7, just gone 7 here now. And I'm going to go to sleep. And my wife's told me that this bed is amazing, it does feel really comfy. But earlier I did see a video on turning an iPhone into a dumb phone. A dumb phone is basically just like, you can buy a dumb phone, but I think they're like $200, $300. And it's just the very basics. It's like black and white screen. Uh, you can text, you can call those things. Not very much to it. But then of course that's really annoying because what happens if you want to listen to music, you want to use Apple Pay or whatnot. So I was going to do that tonight, but I'm just too tired and I'm just going to prioritize getting healthy first. So we'll do that another day. Yeah, I won't start filming until early afternoon tomorrow. Maybe get a gym session in. I feel like there's not a ton going on in these videos the last few days. More obviously there's not going to be because we don't really have any time. But it's fun. like I like making these. It's it's. I like the idea of just thinking and speaking out loud. I mean, hopefully, it's somewhat interesting to you. And it, it, it's weird because I know some people would look at this and think, "What the hell are you doing this for?" When you've got a kid in the ICU and you're dead tired. Like, this is fun to me. This is, I like this. Do, does everyone, does everyone have a voice in their head and just like have conversations in your own head? Is that a thing for everyone? I don't know. But we're going to call it a night. I'm going to go to bed. I'm sorry there wasn't too much here in this video. But as things get back to normal, I guess I'll give you a quick update on this. Um, he got his, he had a, he's had a chest tube in for the past week, basically. And that has been drawing out air that has been leaking from his lungs into what's called the pleural cavity. But the leak from his lungs has stopped or like repaired itself. So the chest tube came out and that up until like a couple of days prior to that coming out, it was pretty like, up until I started making these videos again, it was touch and go. Like, we didn't know if he was gonna make it. We didn't know if he had this genetic surfactant issue, which is where your body produces something to help the alveoli sacs at the end of your lungs open up to then transfer fluid and oxygen. We didn't know if, well, the doctors had suspicions that he wasn't producing any surfactant, in which case, he either gets a lung transplant or he dies. So that was pretty scary. <laughs> uh, but getting this tube out and seeing the way he's improved the last few days is just, we're thinking about maybe a week left in here. So it's good, that's good news. We'll get there. All right, cool. See you tomorrow. Sorry. Also, I am very excited to get back filming like normal side quests. I am looking forward to editing this soda video too because that is one of the videos that I kind of is for a TikTok. It was for a TikTok, but I'm looking forward to seeing how I edit out because you've seen all the footage I have for that what would be TikTok. And so it's a case of cutting up that section and seeing what we can produce from it. Yeah, see you tomorrow.